and a viewer, Mr. G from New York, sent me some heavy duty goatskin fully Kevlar lined ANSI cut level three performance gloves. Two pair, plus some additional super duper, um, what are these called? These are hot rod gloves, mechanic style. Yeah, thanks. You're awesome. Yeah, oh, yeah. let's wear these right now. Let's wear the mechanic style. And let's go see what kind of scrap dreams. Here, where's the other one? Yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? So not, and check this out. So I went, the whole reason I was telling you about the, the gloves is because I went there and I found a bunch of scrap on the way back for me. Oh, this is crazy. So yeah, so one stop and I got a, a sink and a, you know, this, is a this is a jacked up um, snow blower and a washer and some other sheet metal down there. What is this? This is nuts. All right, so this is the galvanized stuff. This stuff is more. Yeah, I'm not doing anything with the TV. All right, you know what I think I'm gonna have to do? Because the scrapyards aren't open right now. It's it's in the evening, and I normally don't do evening, but now that the sun is setting much later, I'm gonna grab this scrap. Wow, do I have enough room? The scrap is just crazy right now. It's it's crazy. All right. Oh boy. Okay, so rearranged a little bit. Yeah, this is this is good scrap right here. This stuff is, I think, $140 per net ton here. All four of those in, got these back in. Hello! Rock on! And we got some goodies. What's that connected to? Definitely some scrappage. If I can get it out. All right. How would Mr. Scrappity fit all this on here? Hmm. Utilizing some some under space here. All right, gotta get my my dumpster stick. Oh, I haven't looked around yet. Is there more? No. Okay. So that's wood 
of some sort. That's metal. That was plastic. Go gadget. Dumpster stick. Oh. Right, dumpster stick, don't go anywhere. Now this is one of those public dumpsters that, uh, what's not coming out? Why are you stuck? So this is a, so our, our town has these, I was like five or six of them. Just a dumpster that anybody can use. It takes the illegality away from getting rid of your refuse, getting rid of your stuff. It brings uh, that illegal dumping straight down to next to nothing. All right, that's looking good. So this is our other, uh, another public dumpster area. And it looks like it's got some bed frames. Take them. Let's look around first. Whoa. Oh, it's got full up. Wow. Definitely full up. What is this? That bamboo? It has a bolt on it, but interesting. All right, bed frames. You're coming with me. The Pinchomatic 9000. Out, doesn't it? 
Yeah. All right, where are you guys going? Right here. Yeah, that'll work. And this is a third bin area. So yeah, it looks like they cleaned the stuff up that was here. Oh, we got some remaining snow. You gotta go, buddy. Okay, I think we're... Oh. Yeah. You look metal. No, you're plastic. What's that? It's like a piece of, do you use stuff like that? Yeah, may I have it? Well, I don't see where it would have come off of, but I guess, sure. <laughs> Something way it. far away. Yeah, it's <laughs> all yours. Cool. Yeah, I don't want you guys running it over. I mean, I don't see any place that looks like it came from. Yeah, it's some flashing somewhere. But with those winds, I mean, it could have came from anywhere. Especially being light and aluminum, it would soar. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right, have a good day. Yeah, you too. I know a bunch of videos back, some of you folks were saying, hey, take that sign. Which, yeah, I think it is junk. Is that pl that's plastic. What's up with you, mister? Yeah, it's definitely ruined, but I don't know. Quite sure what they do with these things. I'll put it more out in the open. You know, and maybe someone would want that. Maybe they want that in their garage, you know? I guess see a little bit of metal. Looking a little ridiculous here, Paul. It's more galvanized. Whatever this thing is. All right, so it's the next morning. Yeah, a little, little chilly out here, but it's all good. All right, so I'm gonna hit the scrapyard and hope I can get a split load for this. Um, I might have to weigh the vehicle twice. I'm not sure how it's gonna work because I have galvanized clips and I have just regular scrap in the truck. So, and some aluminum. I'll just take that off right now. I don't have my gloves on yet. Hey, you're catching. Scrap is already back talking me. Uh, Alright, see you at the scrapyard. What's up, Jesse? Uh, the ceiling? Wait. Huh. We're outside, the ceiling ain't up. The sky is up. So, you're an eighth grader, and you're as big as your sister now. Bigger. You're bigger than your sister? Yep. Alright. What's up? Handsome little chap. All right, I gotta start this vehicle. Get some defrost going. All right, so I just talked to them and I'm gonna weigh the vehicle twice. So we'll do the shred first and then I'll leave just the galvanized on the truck and we'll do a weight of galvanized. And the weight of the truck, no. 20 or 4220. Nice. That's very nice. I like that. Opening up the gate for me. Good stuff.
try on the new gloves. I'm gonna take a little bit of time breaking them in. All right, train's gone. I don't know. Is this gonna slip? I might not even sit up there. For now, So all I have left is the galvanized stuff, and we'll go get that weight, and uh, then we'll go dump it over to that galvanized area right there. All right, so my in-between weight is 3880. All right. All galvanized. Well, to me it looks all galvanized, I'm not really sure. Frozen mud trenches are not easy to drive through. <laughs> Let's get a weight and we'll see. So I see 3760. Yeah. So 120 pounds galvanized. Sounds good to me. Sun's up. Just a little bit. Hello, hello. What was your name again? Susie. Susie. All right. Susie and Sandy. Two S's. Which is funny because when I grew up, my best friend was Sandy. Oh. Aww. Doing like a boyfriend again. That's close, right? No. No. Whenever they're weight on the scale, it's just it's hell. Morning, ladies. Good morning. Morning, ma'am. So this one. Yep. How quickly you became the teacher. <laughs> yeah, that's scary, isn't it? No. Yeah. 
Thank you. Thank you. See you later. All right, so I had 360 pounds of regular shred for $18.90, and then 120 pounds of that galvanized, uh, mixed galvanized clips, uh, yeah, at $155 in a net ton, and got $9.30 just for that. So just at that one dumpster, that was over 10 bucks. That is awesome. You know, even though the 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 galvanized clips is 155 in that ton. I was watching Shane Man TV, his uh, his last uh, run to the scrapyard, and he gets $145 in that ton just for regular old shredder scrap, just scrap steel appliance stuff. Now like 145 bucks, and that's some good price right there. So, all right, now let's go trash picking. <laughs> all right, so Wednesday is the equinox and so that's when generally speaking that day and night's the same all over the planet i know that in some places you might have a you might have a mountain in the west and a plain to the east so you know your sunset might change by a couple of minutes um, but here's what i would like for everyone to do if you would please if my own personal experiment is google when your sunrise is today and when your sunset is today and put that in the comments and here's why <clears throat> i want to see because we're a couple of we're eight minutes off from being exactly 12 hours daylight 12 hours nighttime so if you would uh pretty sure everyone has internet because they're watching this um, take a look at your sunrise and your sunset just google actually i should do that right now while i'm at the red light When is sunrise? If it'll work. The sun will rise at 7.02 a.m. All right. When is sunset? The sun will set at 7.04 p.m. Oh, so it's two minutes off. Yeah, so let me know what, in, in the comment section, what your sunrise and your sunset is, no matter where you are in the world. That is so cool. I just got a text from my friend. Uh, he's he has a YouTube channel called uh, Dude Real Estate, and he says he has some scrap metal for me, for us. Yes. So, good stuff. I saw metal. Oh, isn't that cute? Seriously, that is just cute. Huh? Wait, are you kidding me? Strippable copper wire. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, that's five bucks right there. Of course, you got to strip it and everything. Yeah, I was reading some comments in some other. Uh, channels and they're like oh, I know that these scrappers are planting stuff <laughs> I promise you we're not it's literally this much stuff is getting thrown away I almost want these bags anything else down there nope full of copper. This is trash. Watch for cars. <laughs> Look how muddy it is. I just washed it too. That'd be cool if this was brass. I shouldn't even but I'm gonna I lost my little magnet, my little antenna magnet. I'm bummed about that. Is this metal as well? It is, wow. Was galvanized. 
Ooh, I can smell it. It's, ugh. Hey, that looks like scrap. Let's go get it. Oh, yeah. What is up, Nate? You got some scraps. You get getting rid of your signs, huh? Those are the old ones. That's my old company. Good seeing you, man. Yeah, good to you, man. Yeah. Thank you for helping me out. Yeah, dude. So this has got some metal on it. I oh yeah. Take that. Yeah, it'll definitely get taken. Got some old dog chain. There. Cool. Uh, got some more stuff in the garage and in the basement. In the basement? All right. Yeah. Let's go do it. All right. Do the basement first. All right. I'm gonna leave that open for right now, if you don't mind. Is it empty and unplugged? Yep, it's empty All right. unplugged. I think it's nice. I think the reason we did unplug it. Is this it a man cave like? Kind of, yeah. All right. Yeah, I had to move all my office stuff down here because we got new carpet upstairs. So. Wow, so. sweet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't I don't think it works as it should. I don't think it cools you know, okay. all the way down, so. All right, well, if it doesn't work like it should, I'm not going to try to sell it to someone that thinks it's yeah, perfect. Yeah, unless you want to just keep it plugged in for half a day and see if it cools down. But... Well, I trust you. If you it's Yeah, not... I think there's a reason we haven't used it, so. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, I can grab it. All right. Cool, man. So how's your channel coming along? It's coming. It's coming. Uh, I had some requests for... Help? <laughs> uh, maybe. It's heavier than it looks. Hmm. Is there wheels on it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. One, two, three. Cool, man. <clears throat> Got it. Oh well. well. That's how she goes in. That's where she's going. Okay. So, you've got a YouTube channel. I do. Yeah. I do. Uh, yeah, real estate investing is kind of the focus. So, okay. everything from we go through my flips, uh, rental properties, we analyze deals. Right. Uh, talk about other stuff like uh, tips and tricks for okay. real estate investing too. So. You know, some of it's kind of like an HGTV type yeah. of thing, like going through the house flips you see before and afters, and right. uh, some of it's more tips and tricks for how to find deals and stuff okay. like that. Yeah. So your videos, they're top notch. I mean, you got good cameras, good lighting, good sound, you got music behind them. <laughs> <laughs> it's a process, but yeah. I gotta tell you that, you know, you're my inspiration for the whole thing. I mean, uh, uh, I, when I saw you start to take off with what you were doing, I was like, I can do that. Yeah. That's my little thing that I And had. yeah, your videos are jamming, dude. Thanks, man. Yeah. I appreciate so, that. All right, appreciate thanks for the scrap, brother. Absolutely, thank you. <laughs> oh, I see some metal. You are getting recycled, my friend. That's right. Looks like he got ran over. <laughs> yeah, normally it'd be straight up and down. I see so many Amazon Prime boxes. It's like, that's the... That's the number one box I see now. There's another one right there. They're everywhere. Anything in the trash? Nothing. Anything over there? Huh. Whoa! Hey! Some got burned in there. Do I get cleaned up? Should I clank them together? Wake up, neighborhood! Clang! Clang! Get up! 
Everybody! Clang! <laughs> so my guess is 3,900 even. And 4,000! Thank you. Turning out to be a beautiful day again. Man, when that sun went away for a while, man, it was, it dropped weight big time. I need to sneak past here. Here. Yep. Oh. Drive slow. Man, they've been busy. They've been real busy. Grab my new gloves. Something about a junkyard is just awesome. It's an old Huffy bike. And, um, a lot of rust. Yeah, I gotta tell them about this refrigerator. These things are aluminum. Yep. Yeah, that's good. So I'm gonna keep those those pots. Those uh, cast iron pans. <laughs> it landed up right. golf club is that? I felt a drop on my foot. Is that a driver bit? Hmm. What's going on here? It's not budging a bit. It's jammed in there. These things are staying here. We keep that too. It's for a dog leash. That thing was so awkward. <laughs> Cast iron, keeping the wire and the aluminum. Yeah, I'm letting them know about that because that's Freon in it. So about 4,000 pounds going in. I think it was probably 100 pounds, maybe 120. This is all increments of 20. 3780. Huh, so 220 pounds. Wow. Cool. Crazy busy. Good stuff though. 
Let's get some coffee. So today's prices, Zimmerman's scrapyard is four cents per pound for appliance shredder scrap. This uh, B&O is 4.8 cents per pound. And my, my go-to scrapyard, uh, which is DeKalb Iron and Metal, is 5.25 cents per pound for shredder scrap. So, but this is about a third of the way to where I need to go uh, for my uh, move class uh, so speaking of I better get moving I don't have too much time at all so this is the Chrysler plant in Belvedere Illinois and all of these cars these rail cars move actual brand new cars yep and then there's a field of brand new cars as far as the eye can see here and down there cars that are built right here in Belvedere, Illinois. It's an assembly plant for vehicles. Scrapping in a different town for rent. All right, so they're moving out. It looks like a hunk of steel to me. On a hot dog? <laughs> Almost ran that over. That's a hunk of steel. mind a whole bunch of these. Well, I'm not invading on anybody's space. Looks like a little encampment here with some kikis. Uh, hello kitty kitty kitty. Oh, she's gone. Oh yeah, they're all cat houses. Kitty 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 kitty. Meow. Meow. Wow. These geese were statues at first. <laughs> I thought I saw something metal back here. Can't tell if it's plastic. Oh, those are plastic pallets. Never mind. Thought I had my camera on earlier, but I didn't. Grab some of these it's flashing. It's ripped up flashing. I think it's all aluminum. Oh, it's steel. Totally thought it was aluminum. No way. Man, some fool's aluminum. Fooled me. <laughs> I think I see some stuff in the dumpster area. Refrigerator. Any other goodies? You're coming with me, Pally Wow. What's that? Oh, it's wood. Okay. All right. Refrigerator. Come with me. Oh, it's got wheels. Good to me.
heaven sent. I like that. Thank you. Thanks, God. Okay, you need to get in here. Get in my truck. Get in my truck. I'm gonna turn the truck off. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Straight on its back. Everything go inside of that. Well, stuff that can fit. Yeah, let's do that. Up to the scrapyard. Yeah. Let's see how much we weigh. Three thousand nine hundred twenty. Okay. More scrap that came since I left. But there is. refrigerator right there. All right, we'll park in the same spot. Yep, yep, yep. Let's get rid of this scrap.
39.20 going in. I guess 200 pounds. So 37.20? Nope, 37.60. So that refrigerator was much lighter than I thought. All right, let's go get paid. All right, check this out. You're not gonna believe this. Prices just went up here. It is 5.8 cents per pound. So almost six, six, six cents per pound. It was um, 4.8 cents per pound. So it went up an entire cent. And so now this place, which takes refrigerators and anything with Freon, and they'll take it for free because they'll just take the Freon out. So now B&O has the highest prices for shred and that type of stuff. Yeah, super good. I'm excited. Thank you, Lord. Thanks again. I just want to give you the glory, God. And I, and I don't, I don't mean that in some, some small way. It is amazing that we're able to talk to you, that we're able to have a relationship with you, God. I don't want to minimize that one bit, God. That you actually shed heaven and you came down and you know what it's like going through the struggle of being a person. You know. Thank you, Lord, for doing that. And you do that for us because you wanted a relationship with us. And it, it, I see it all the time. Lord, we're praying for all of us just to look at you more, to recognize you more, to listen, to quiet our souls. Lord, help me listen. Amen. Yeah, so that was 180 pounds, so $10.35. Maybe I did mention that. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I was just st stuck on the, the price increase from, you know, 4.8 cents per pound to 5.8 cents per pound. Yeah, that is super good. I just got in, I was having a conversation with the owner in there, and he says scrap, is, scrap metal is just coming in in droves. Yeah, good stuff.